everybody. And this episode of Mattressology, we are going to dissect the Ethos Natural Luxury Mattress. Organic. Organic mattress. Let's go. We're going to have a special episode today. As you can see, our background has changed a little bit. Today, we are able to be at the factory. People ask us to get some shots at the factory. Well, we're here. And today, we are going to dissect an organic mattress that a customer left us. What's the story on this mattress? I mean, they wanted a natural mattress. They had it for almost 10 years. It just became a bit too firm for them. The last time it's bounced back through moving, you know, several houses. Time for a new one. So okay. Buy a new house, and they wanted something a little bit softer now. Yeah, I mean, the mattress that doesn't look like it's in bad shape. A little background on Ethos. They're made by Diamond Mattress. They're made out here, not too far in Los Angeles. From what I hear, they're a solid mattress. I've never looked inside of an Ethos mattress though. So we are gonna see what's inside. I'm really excited to look, yeah, look behind the curtain on this one. All right, so here we go. So bear with us while we open it up. We usually start from the bottom up. Today, let's start from the outside in. So what do, what do we have here, Gabe? Imagine it's organic cotton since it's an organic, since it's an organic mattress. So I would say it's an organic cotton. You got to tuft it, so a little uh, fabric button tufts. Which tufting, that I like tufting. I'm, I am a fan of tufting for the most part. Alternative is glue for a lot of companies. I do like tufting. Tufting, it just keeps everything from shifting around. Because when you put a bunch of mat layers in, the, in a mattress together, you don't want them to slide and shift. You know, you have, they have to hold on to something and the tufting keeps it together for the most part, you know, without using any adhesives. Unless you have a zipper cover, like- Zipper cover, yes. Unless, yeah. you know, your, your mattress is more minimal, you yeah. know, you don't have to really worry about that too much with that zipper top. A mattress with a lot of different layers, tufting is good. I, I am yes. a fan of tufting. This is the, uh, the top parts that are organic cotton. There's another fabric that's uh, right over it. So this material right here, now this, I would say it could be cotton. Kind of has a little stretch to it, which almost has a little polyester feel, but I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and say it's cotton because it's really hard for me to give a full assessment on what type of material this is. And you so, can already see there's already wool inside of it. Which so. is good. Yeah, that's good. This is interesting though. This having this other layer of quilting on it, I'm I, I have not seen that, which I would say helps keep the wool together. That's the purpose of this. Most companies that you see are gonna have the wool quilted into top, this. Yeah ticking mm -hmm. but because of the tufting they wanted a little bit of stretch I, I assume they did this second layer they quilted the wool to this layer so it does not keep it from shifting yes yeah, I think it's a pretty neat design this does give it a little bit more stretch you could feel it now because it is a very tight quilt it does firm it up a little bit having this these smaller little diamonds on it is gonna make it a little bit tighter a little bit firmer feel here's a little fun fact the bigger the diamonds or the bigger the quilt the little bit more cushioning you have the smaller the quilt it tends to be a little bit firmer just visually looking at mattresses when you're mattress shopping if you see a tight stitch or a tight quilt it tends to be firmer a nice bigger or tack and jump tends to be softer you know there's always exceptions to the rules but those as a guide so bigger diamonds are better according to my wife yes i don't know i guess some people like smaller diamonds my wife likes a smaller diamond Okay, yes. Let's open this up for the next layer. And it's actually a good significant amount of wool. We're gonna just open this whole thing up. Inside of it, you can kind of see the uh, like the flakiness of latex and over time it kind of like oxidizes and it can start hardening, right? And it also happens with, yeah, with foam and memory foam too. You'll see it more in latex because it is a natural material. So the this base is. layer, you got six inches. Six inches of the base layer. This is from here to here is the base layer. This is where most of the support is gonna come from. You want most of the support to come from the base layer. And then this is the, the comfort layer is where most of the pressure will really come from. I mean, from. just doing the math, it's gonna be like about three inches, but just so you can see it's about three and a half. It looks like it was two two inch layers, but like this at the edge right here, got a little bit compressed. But here's so. also the thing with latex, right? You know, it comes in six inch blocks. Yes. And you're slicing it, you know, and it's, it's a harder to material to slice. Because latex is not the same as cutting foam. Mm -hmm. So with foam, it's a pretty easy cut. Latex, because of the just the way it is, how durable it or flexible it is, it is going to be a bit more challenging to 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 cut. This feels like a softer top yeah. layer. This one definitely feels a bit firmer. firmer. Yeah. yeah, I would probably say a medium firm. Probably and then firm. you got the base layer. And by visually, Gabe, what would you say? What kind of latex are we dealing with? Man, it's pretty beat up, but it actually. 
does kind of look like Talalay right here on the top. If I had a guess, I would say Talalay. Kind of yeah. hard to tell for how old it looks, but when you see the insides of it, it looks like Talalay. Plus a little bit more of like the open cell like structure. I was at the Diamond Mattress factory not too long ago, and I know they do use Talalay on a lot of their mattresses too. So yeah, I would say it's a, probably a Talalay latex. Why would this mattress not be one sheet? So on a California King, or even a King size on Talalay, latex is poured in a mold. Talalay latex. Right? Talalay latex. They do not have a King size mold or a California King mold. So you're always gonna see it bonded together in the middle. And what that does is it just, I mean, it keeps everything together. It's gonna be laminated, bonded together, and that's gonna give it just a solid feel. And this is where glue adhesives are important with mattresses. There's cheap glue and there's really good quality glue. First of all, what makes it good quality is if it's a water base with a latex adhesive to it, latex based. It's not one of those aerosol spray on cans. You don't want those because those do tend to be a bit cheaper. This one is gonna be Pretty good. I've seen um, latex after a couple years tend to break off and split, and then you could feel that. So actually, I like it. I do not see any splitting on the on the layers. And, and what we do is you can either do it that way or don't bond it because latex is you know creates a lot of like friction and sticking yeah. with each other, so it doesn't slide or move around too much. We have had customers complain that about the bonding. Yes. Even though like it's really hard to steal it. There's some people that are more sensitive and they're sleeping in the middle. It does feel a little bit firmer when it's bonded in the in the middle, right? In our latex mattresses and our hybrids, we try to stay away from using adhesive glues. You'll see, because we do the zippered layer, the zipper top where you can interchange the layers that allows us to not have to use a lot of adhesives and you really can't feel that separation, but some mattresses, they still tend to bond them. We've done it too, it's not bad, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can feel a little bit of a, a seam, but yeah. when you do it, when you cover it with this. Yeah, you can't. I really can't. Here's where I see something where I don't like that much. This is where I have an issue with. Let's open this up more because you All see right. we, there's a lot of tufting here and I'll get a close up on the tufting. The reason why people use tufting, so you don't have to glue it. However, they've tufted it, but at the same time, they're gluing it too. I mean, on a latex mattress, because it's so heavy, you may need to, but it really then, why tuft it? What gluing does, especially with latex, it does stop the airflow. It loses that flexibility. So I am not really a big fan of gluing it while they do the tufting. It just takes away all the advantages. You lose the airflow, mm -hmm. you lose the performance of latex. If I'm tufting it, I'm not gonna glue it. Right, yes. Kind of yeah. a little bit overkill for that, but also part of the story is in the tufting, because yep. you're saying, hey, we're not using glues or adhesives, but then when you pull back the curtain, it's like, oh man, you just kind of hurt it by using glues and adhesives. Yes. You know, and the tufting could have, you know, solved that, keeps it all in place. But yeah. otherwise, there's not a whole lot to it, which is a good thing. Yep. Right? You know, it is, it is all latex. As they say, we've seen places that actually put foam inside of it. There is no foam, in, you know, inside. It's all the natural rubber. Good mattress. You see a, an impression right over here. We're going to open this up all the way. Yeah, see it as we're cutting the, the tufting. You see? I don't want you guys to see the tufting up close. So what they do, they put a big needle in here. One thing about the tufting, you can notice it's just creating that body impression, right? In that spot. Complaint that we get with tufting is that you can feel the little dips because it does cause it to dip in a little bit. You can see where the tufts used to be. See, doesn't it look like if you put it back, most of that impression seems like it's coming from this top layer yeah. right here. It is a softer latex. And so what usually happens is on a softer piece of latex, it's just not going to be as durable as something that's going to be firm, just because it's not as dense. Here's up close with the latex. You can see how it kind of got a little bit crusty right here. It's going to happen with just about every foam. Latex, when it's exposed to light or just the atmosphere, it's going to get a little bit of that or moisture. The most important part is, it, does it still have the, the comfort? Does it still have the, the durability? And that's the most important thing. Even though it might have a little bit of crustiness, it doesn't mean that it, the mattress has lost support. Let's lift this up a bit, see what's underneath. Yeah, it's all latex. All latex still. Yeah. All right, so what do you think? I think overall, I would give this mattress a B as far as just the, the, the construction. The only reason why I would, I would not give it an A is just because of all the glue. Having the tufting with the glue, I just would have stayed away from that. But it's not a bad mattress. It's actually, it's a good mattress. The big thing I was afraid of is 
having see finding polyurethane foam in here mm -hmm. something I, we have opened up mattresses where they claim that they're organic and their own their their latex yet we see a lot of the synthetic so this one actually i'm very happy to know that there's none of the synthetic foams in here and they're actually are using the wool wool we yeah. see a lot of them where they're not using wool this is where the customer had the issue with so you got about an inch at of least impression. yep let's pull this back to see if it's this one or yeah let's see what layer how is this impression yeah when we're testing mattress like dipping we always see so it's not just the top layer three quarters of an inch and let's just let's see if we can take apart this bottom layer <laughs> well maybe we just destroyed it yeah if it wasn't glued it'll be easier to pull it apart and yeah. see what would happen but this is the ethos organic nurture luxury medium here's one thing too with organic there's a lot of little stipulation for us to be able to say organic. There's no such thing as organic talalay. This is just a little fun fact for you, a little side note. Because there's talalay in it, you gotta be careful when using the word organic. There's no such thing as organic talalay. They don't make it, it doesn't exist. There's only organic Dunlop. So using the word organic, you just gotta be careful. I have seen companies get in trouble using the word organic when there's not organic latex or organic materials in there too. Yeah. That is one thing when you're looking for an organic mattress or latex, is if they say it's organic, but it's tally, either they're mistaken or they're not being 100% honest. Let us know go. what you guys think about this video. If you guys liked it, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, send a comment. Download Maybe the guide. We have the guide. We have the mattress shopping guide. So if you're looking for a mattress, download our shopping guide. It's going to help you uh, with, you know, any just tips and tricks and what to look for in buying a new mattress. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.